What is up YouTube and welcome to our expansion franchise. As you see, we are gonna be named. Our new franchise is the Oklahoma Outlaws. Yes. So a little my decision kinda making I wanted to either be like the outlaws, the bandits, and you know, Oklahoma's little in the Midwest, of course, and and uh what am I trying to say here? So, kind of an Oklahoma Outlaws kind of fits pretty well. And I think there was actually a football team, professional football team, called the Oklahoma All-Stars. But then I th Oklahoma All-Stars, Oklahoma Outlaws. But then they were named the Arizona Outlaws. So, I think that kind of makes maybe Oklahoma, us and the Arizona Coyotes rivals because of that. Because Arizona took the name of the Oklahoma Outlaws football team. Obviously, I don't know if it was NFL. Obviously, it was a football. You could look it up. But, you know, why not? Oklahoma. You got the Oklahoma State Thunder. You got Oklahoma Sooners. It seems like a big basketball football, school, um, you know, state. So, why not bring hockey? So, our mascot, if you want to check him out. And funny name. His name is Arthur. Named after Arthur Morgan. And you kind of... Arthur Morgan of Red Dead 2... The great outlaw himself. So if you want to take a look at our jerseys, here they are. I did a pretty nice job kind of using the Minnesota Wild uh, retro number kit there. It's pretty, I actually like how they, oh wait, whoops. I kind of like how they came out. Home jersey, same style, just different colors. And of course the alternate, we had to switch up a little bit. Red jersey with the black in between, white sleeves. White helmet, white gloves, white socks, black pants. It just looks awesome. I like how the jerseys came out. So, we are going to be doing the... What am I trying to say here? We're going to be doing the expansion draft. So, I'll see you there. Alright, so here's our team. And our AHL affiliate is the Hulk of Oma City Bandits. So, since I'm using Outlaws, Bandits is another... I think it might be another name for an Outlaw or other way around, but kinda, it's a funny, kinda match as well. So, I kinda wanna put us in the same division as Arizona. So maybe, who should we take out of this division? We'll take out the Kings, put them in the Central, and we'll go to the Pacific, just because I wanna be in the same. Or we can move Arizona over to us, and we'll throw maybe Minnesota yeah so we'll stay in Central and we want Arizona in because of the whole Arizona Outlaws and Oklahoma Outlaws football story so we're no longer mode player morale yes no morale means fog is going to be off just because I want to see cap on GM yep 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 uh, I'm just going to I haven't been I'm, I'm just going to take injuries off I haven't been using a, I haven't been um Playing with injuries just because they get they, they people get injured way too often. I hope that I could just make it like injuries only when I'm playing the game. So that is this creating the league here. Yes, the skill is an all star. I think I I could bump it up to superstar. Like I said, I'll definitely play some games. I've done it with the Rangers in the past. Yes, yeah, so that's the bandit logo on the right and the outlaw on the left. Outlaw one kind of looks like a skull face with a bandana on it, the cowboy hat. The other one kind of the same with a, another like bandana, but it actually looks like a person. So, yeah, we're gonna go through the whole draft. We are going to be drafting, yes, ourselves. And I'm kind of looking for players that I can maybe, um, some that I could definitely keep. We could build around, hopefully, because it might be rough. And then some that maybe we could exchange. Oh my god. We got the number one pick. <laughs> so now with this draft, this is like a dra I don't know, it's kind of weird with the expansion team. Because this is like the 2018 draft. Oh no, it is the 2018. Yeah, it's like it's like we like redo the 2018 draft, but like it's like all creative players. So it looks like we're going to start our franchise with the number one pick. It's going to end. It's probably, hopefully, definitely a high elite. Or a bit, an elite player. Hopefully, maybe a franchise player. So let's see. So... 
you know what? Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll see how long this takes, and then maybe we'll go to the. Well, maybe we'll do this and the draft, but we'll break it up. So from Anaheim, let's see. We have Andre Schuster. Nothing really that exciting for Anaheim. They have Jake Donchin, medium top six. He, I'm surprised. I thought he was not even in the league. Ryan Miller, we could get as a goalie. Only one year left on a two million. Oh no, we actually. I think that means we're gonna have to resign him. I think we're going to take Andre Schuster. Sh I always call him Schuster for some reason. Big six foot seven defensive D man. We could put him. That guy, we that's a guy we could maybe, you know, keep around. Jason Demers. Not surprised because he's on. He's kind of got a pretty big contract at four million for three more years. He's not bad. It's not really the biggest contract. Or should we take this Jordan Osterley who's a little bit younger and probably close to just as good? We're gonna have to receive. He's actually has an extended salary of two years, 1.4. It's not the worst contract. Let's take a look at the goalies. Darcy Comfer, 82 overall. Should we go with him? Maybe six foot five. You know, we're gonna go Darcy. He'll be one of our goalies. I think that's probably one of the most highest goalies you get in the expansion team. Marcus Johansson. Now, if we take Johansson and if we could resign him, we could definitely move him. Oh well. So. I think we'll take Johansson and we'll try to re-sign him because his contract is expiring, I believe. And we can maybe try to move him because I want to try to get more picks and I'm definitely going to try to build around the draft. So from Buffalo, I believe this is. A couple terrible contracts. Uh, Allmark. I might just take him just because there's really no one else. You know, if anything, we could stick him in the AHL. It depends how many goalies we get. So, ooh, look at this. James Neal from uh, Carolina, but I'm not taking that contract. See, I wish like I would take that contract. Maybe I got like a pick, an extra first rounder or something like that. So we have a couple media bottom six forwards. Well, I'll probably just pick between one of these guys. This guy's a former Islander, so we're just gonna take this guy. No questions asked. <laughs> Two way forward. All right, it's fine. Hey, Minnesota Wild. So we from the Carolina Hurricanes. We have. Jordan Martinook or Trevor Van Riemsdyk. Two solid players. Um, I might go Martinook. Nothing really on the goalie side. So, or should we go TVR? You know, we're, we're, we'll go TVR because I think he'll have a little more value. Maybe we can move him. From the Chicago Blackhawks, Connor Murphy. I think I might just take him. Just definitely try to ship, try to flip him. A lot of D-man. Ian Cole with a four million. Oof, that's rough. Patrick Nemeth, high top six, twenty-six years old, six foot three. Oh, he's not too bad. Not on the worst contract. Philip Grubauer. Um, no, we're not gonna take him. We have two pretty good goalies. We'll take Patrick Nemeth. Maybe we can move him. Maybe he's got pretty decent value. From the Columbus Blue Jackets, Boone Jenner, Riley Nash. Jenner, that contract is a little. I'm not really liking it. Jonas Corposalo. Young goalie. Maybe he could be our future. Medium starter with a 24 years old, 81. Maybe he could get up to that 85. So we'll definitely we'll take him. So we got three good. I would say three solid goalies. Blake Como. Um, we have a 26 year old medium top six. Steven Johns. Uh, Mark Mathot, Tyler Plitlick. He's actually he's pretty good. I think we'll take him because we don't have any right wings. We really have no offense. <laughs> so we'll take Tyler Plitnick. From the Detroit Red Wings, Darren Helm. Justin Applicator, definitely not. Luke Glenn Denning. Jacob Delarue. I think we'll take one of these guys because we need some help on the wings. So we'll take Jacob Delarue. It's got pretty... Probably the best, uh, I mean, not the best, uh, what's it called, but. Now, this is an inter interesting one. Adam Larson, he, I think he's got pretty decent trade value. Now, I think I might just take him, even though he's not really the best player. I think he's got pretty decent trade value, so we could definitely move him. Maybe he could spend a season or two, but we could maybe flip him. From Florida, um, Mackenzie Weger. I think I might just take Troy 
Brower just to get some dip. You know, he's a grinder, why not? Kyle Clifford, Derek Four Forbot. All these defensive defensemen, man. Not like two ways or anything. Jason Campbell, high starter. We'll take him. Minnesota Wild, Marcus Foligno. Some, who's this? Brad Hunt, no. Nothing really too interesting or good. I guess we'll just take this guy, Red. Stick him in the AHL, maybe, or if he's good, you know, whatever. Joel Armia, Jordy Ben, Jordan Wheel. Um, should we take Jordan Wheel or Joel Armia? I think we'll take Armia. Just because he actually might have pretty decent trade value. Ooh. Nashville Predators, Ryan Ellis. I think we'll take him. Either could. Eight years, 6.2 million. Not too far. Not, I'm not really liking that contract, but either he'll play a couple seasons with us because I'm I'm sure he'll have decent trade value. Mikkel Mueller, Green, Eric Tangrady, and they have terrible players. Holy shit! Uh, we'll take Miko Mueller. Try to sh shop him around from the New York Islanders. Clutterbuck, that is such a terrible contract. Mayfield, Seidenberg. We'll take Tom Kunak, all we need, of course, offense. From the New York Rangers, Freddie Clayson, the only player we could take some some odd reason. Ottawa Senators, Marion Gabrick. I would love Marion Gabrick, but that contract is not not for me. Magnus Pugliarvi or Brian Gibbons, we'll take Pugliarvi. From Philly, Michael Raffle, Schlemko, Yari. Oh my god, this is another bad contract. Uh, we'll take Raffle. He's actually got a pretty good uh, two year, 1.6. And like I said, we could use offense. We have no centers. Justin Schultz, should we take him? Or, or Jack Johnson. I think we'll take Schultz. 5.5, yes, that's not the best. But it's, I think he's pretty, he's a pretty decent player. And he's labeled offensive defensive being 6'2". He's got, oh, he's got a great offensive game. So we'll take Justin Schultz. Plus, I never played with Justin Schultz, so it'll be interesting. Oh, my God. Look at that. Brent Burns. That, that's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen. I might, I, I think I'm, and he's. And when he's like this, he's got good trade value. So maybe what we could do, we could draft him, and then we could maybe trade him for like, or we could keep him, because that's pretty crazy. I'm definitely going to take him. I'm taking Brent Burns. That's pretty sick. Because San Jose's going to need the cap. That's crazy how they just, they had him up there. We have no centers. I just realized. We have no centers. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to take Patrick Maroon, even though he's probably pissed off because he wants to stay in. Stay there, but we're going to take him. Like, Cedric Paquette, and, like, they're going to be our best freaking centers. Who's this? Anders, Anders Andreoff? Andy Andreoff. We're going to get Paquette. Oh, my God. We only have two centers, and one of them's like a 75. Ay, ay, ay. What the hell? Ron Hainsey, definitely not. Any good goalies? Sparks? I don't think he's that... Should we get, who's this? Maybe we'll get Sparks. Maybe we could trade him from Vancouver. I think we're wrapping this up. Jay Beagle and Brian Sutter. Pretty bad contracts, but we need centers. We could get take Scaler. He's on a decent contract. I'm still, I'm still kind of blown away. We got Brent Burns. Or should we take Jay Beagle? Three million's not that bad. He's not... Yeah, we'll take Jay Beagle. We'll take on his contract. It's not... It wasn't the worst contract. From Washington, Brett Connolly. Ooh, Christian DeJuice. Chandler Stevenson. I mean, we do need the center and 
I don't know if it's could I always call them could juice. He's actually not bad, and he's young. Damn, and Carl Haglund. Damn, they actually have a lot of pretty decent players up. Hmm. Damn, this is a tough one. And also, Brett Connolly is not the not a bad option. Also, I'm gonna take Kajus. Did you? I gotta figure out how to say it. So from the what is this? Winnipeg Jets, sorry, I was blanking out for a second. A lot of D-men, Matthew Perot. Do we want him? Do we want to take, like, a Marco Dano? Do they have any centers? Mm, nothing really. Goalies. High starter, Persolt. You know what? We'll t oh, man, we can't take him. I was going to take him try to trade him, but, you know, we'll take Marco Dano. And that's it. So that is the draft. A lot of good ones, I would say. Brent Burns, probably one of the craziest ones. We can maybe take advantage and try to ship him out to make it a little more realistic. Maybe retain some of his salary and trade him to like a trade him to a team that wants him. That we could get maybe picks and prospects or younger players, of course. Because I have a few prospects I want to try to trade for it because I haven't played with them. So we're in 14 minutes. Yeah, we'll hop right into this draft. We have the number one pick, so we're going to get a, a generated player. Why did they put Cody Glass in the trade block? So the Oklahoma Outlaws, let's just see who's available. Okay, I'm very confused why Jack Hughes is in this draft. Casparitis. I'm actually maybe because some reason he's 18. I think that's why, and they probably just throw him in. Damn it! I don't know why he's in it. Hmm. I don't know why Jack uses in this, but you know what? Might as well take Jack Hughes yet again. I know we took him in Minnesota, but. We'll take him. I don't know why he was in this, though. Damn. Well, should we take someone else? I think, you know what? Or should we try this guy? Dimitri Radulov. You know what? Yeah. We'll take someone else. Let's see if we can move down and just get, like, an extra pick. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, because we already played with Jack Hughes, so I don't want to do that. Let's see if we can move down. Give them the opportunity take Jack Hughes. Let's see if maybe we could get like... I mean, if they want to give us... How sick would that have been? What else have they got? A high second rounder. Try to trade down. Because, yeah, we already played with Jack Hughes. We had him, so let's try to get one of these creative players. Still rejected. I feel like that would have been accepted in real life. What about this second round pick? Still rejected. Trying to get an extra pick here. Come on. You fucking kidding me? Come on, at least give me a third. If not, then I guess we'll just go with the flow. Alright, fine. We'll just try to do a two fourth round picks and the second. If they're not going to do that, I'm going to be mad. Are you kidding? Okay. So we'll just stay. We're not going to move. So, I don't know why Jack Hughes is in this draft. Like I said, it's kind of annoying. Let me just call a quick timeout. Just to take a look at who else is in this draft. So, we have a... We don't know. We have a... Oh, that's a lot of Russians. So, we have Dmitry Radulov. Playmaker. He could actually... This guy could probably even step in. 5'9", maybe could be the next Tatsuk. We have a right wing, ooh, a right wing Swedish sniper on the bot. That's ranked fifth. Calais Stahlberg. We got a defensive defense, it seems like, and possibly an offensive defense. So, like I said, we play with Jack Hughes. Let's try to switch it up. We're going to take the meat. So, I think we'll take. So, with the first pick in this draft. We will be taking Dmitry Radulov. I think we definitely need a center. And we'll take this Russian playmaker. 
a couple inches sm smaller than Hughes. Left-handed shot. I think it's a good fit. 81 overall. So, with Jack Hughes, I think I, he was 81. He's highly... Oh, he's 80. So, I think... We, okay, we made a good pick. So, that guy, Radulov, could step in right away. Cool. Now, should we try to trade back up and try to get... I mean, we could easily trade back up and give them Brent Burns. Do we want to try... I mean, we have a lot of D-man. And try to get that Swedish sniper. Like, I mean, we can maybe go like Ellis, who should be on a contract. I mean, we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have a lot of D-man. So maybe then trade away Patrick Nemeth. Two D-men. They don't really want them. But... Let's see if we could take somebody. Oh, they have a lot of good rookie skaters. Just give me like a, yeah, AHL player. Let's just see if they do that. So, Ryan Ellis, Patch Nemeth for the fifth overall selection. No, so we'll try to throw in. Should we, we'll throw in maybe a third round, our third rounder. Still rejected. Should we try second? Even that second round pick is basically a first. Still rejected. Let's see if we could throw in a fifth. I might just stay pat. Okay, I don't think they don't want to give it up, so. So we take Dmitry Radulov, the Russian playmaking center. He's one overall better than Hughes. I don't know, like I said, I don't know why Jack Hughes is in this draft. I think it's because he was 18, they just threw him in. It's fine, whatever. Jack Hughes is high elite, he's medium elite, so. Definitely a good player to start off our franchise with. So now you're in the second round. And that guy, Radulov, will definitely be able to play. So, wow, this kind of sucks. We really have, like, no clue anyone. <laughs> so it's basically just a crapshoot for now. I probably should have tried to move up. So we have Peter... I don't know. Peter... I don't know how to say his name. Possible... And only one bar, medium lead, two snipe. He's 5'11", so he could be a Scott Hartnell, similar. So, I mean, hopefully he's like a... I'm hoping for medium top six. We'll take him. See what we get. Oh, bottom six four. That's kind of rough for a second round pick. Like I said, I think this draft is a bunch of scrubs. So, I mean... Yeah, this draft is kind of rough, isn't it? Um, I'm just going to look at the medium elites and see if we can strike coal with them. Tristan Brigley, 7th D. Oh, man, this is bad. I should have just I should have just went all in to move up and get the sniper. Next pick, look at all these AHL freaking potentials. High. It's probably like high AHL. Look at all this stuff. Uh, we'll try this Jakob. Jacob something. Okay, low top six is not bad. At least we got something there. So we have a trade. Fifth rounder next year for our fifth rounder and an extra seventh. Why not? Because this draft is really nothing special. So we get an extra fifth rounder next year. 7D. Here's another possible 7D. Is there any anything else? We have a goalie. Two bar starter, maybe he could be something. Probably a backup. Fringe starter, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. For a first goalie prospect, it's not bad at all. So I think we have now two seventh round picks. We have a two AD, who's I really don't think he's gonna turn on me. I'm elite. We'll draft another goalie. Most a lot of time Americans are elites. Another fringe starter, not bad yet again. And our last pick in this draft will be no, 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 no. there's another goalie sitting there oh we see a medium top nine we'll take the center it's probably like ahl yeah so that is that draft wasn't planning on having jack hughes in it but we took dimitri radulov the russians playmaking center definitely be playing our number one center this year so 
I think 122 minutes. So we'll go through, we'll go through um the resign phase. Rest of the draft was kind of ass. Johansson wants an extension. He wants five million. Like I said, I might try to move him. We'll give him two years, five million. Don't really know how I feel about that contract. Patrick Maroon, of course, he doesn't want a contract. I'll offer him that and just see if he accepts. Radulov, yes, I'll give you your entry-level deal. You're going to be playing this year. Um, let's just look at all expiring. So, okay, most guys want extensions. So, Patrick Nemeth, two years, 2.4. We'll give him three years, 2.5. That's not bad. Hopefully, he grows. Joel Armina wants an extension. Three years, 1.5. That's a good price for him. Christian Gajus will give him four years at 2.1. It's a good contract. Hopefully he grows to a possible 84, 83 range. Uh, Miko Mueller. Yeah, we have a lot of defense. We're definitely going to have to try to make some moves. Just get everyone signed, and then maybe we'll do some trades going into next season. Schuster, sure. Kunakle, yes, we need you, Kunakle. Need that offensive depth. Troy Brower, yes, we'll take you, which you're. We'll give him two. Now, let's give him a year. Like I said, I don't know. It's kind of old. Clayson, sure, we'll sign you. One way deal, why not? Marco Dano, sure, what do you want? One. I'll give you two years, see how you turn out. Puliyarvi doesn't want an extension. We'll offer him a contract. See what he says. Cedric Paquette, we need you as a one of our <laughs> top centers. We'll give you, I guess, two years for now. So we'll see how our team is, look, is looking like down the line. Sign this guy, probably be our fourth liner. Yeah, we're also at, we'll, we'll also go into free agency and sign um, other players to fill, you know, fill in our team and fill in our what's it called AHL team so Corpusalo needs a new contract we'll give him a five year 1.7 contract taking a gamble hopefully he gets up to an 84 ish range and then all mark probably be our AHL goalie we'll give him two years one million unsigned do we want to sign any of these guys for now We'll sign maybe the low top six. So, so guys who didn't want contracts for Maroon and uh, Pulleyarvi, two guys wouldn't be the end of the world if they don't sign. But we'll just see. So Johansson signs, Allmark signs, Neves signs, Corpusalo signs, Brower signs, Armia signs. Good, good. Test. I'm not giving you any more money. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not even going to. And Radulov signs. I mean, we also gotta take a look at free agency. I forgot. There might. I don't know who is gonna be a free agent. If anybody wants to come on down to Oklahoma for a, a new team, so let's just take a look at free agency real quick. Mitch Warner, William Cross, and Braden Point always freaking. Oh, Duchesne. Okay. You know what? If we could try to sign Duchesne and then Tyler Myers, that would be a pretty cool pair. Let me take a look at goalies. Wow, not bad goalies. Who's our goalie right now? We could actually maybe bring either one of these guys in. You know what? I'm going to try... But Matt Duchesne, this game, it's like in real life. Like, he's like, it's really rare to sign Matt Duchesne. So, he wants six million. Four, what about four years? And we'll go, we'll go what he's asking for. We'll give him like 6.4 for five years. I'll do that. And Big Time Myers? I mean, do we really need the D-man? I'm actually going to take a look at our team because maybe I could try to fill in more needs. 
Um, but if we could do Shane, like him playing number one, and then Rangel playing number two, that would be pretty sick. So, left wing, we have Johansson, Raffle, De La Rue. Right wing, we have Plitnik, Bauer, De Okay, so right, like I said, it's not looking pretty. Defenseman, we have Burns. Okay, we have a good defensive core. So I would say look for maybe a right wing. Basically wings, maybe one more center. We'll take, because I want to offer a lot of people uh, their contracts now. Because I just don't want to wait till Duchesne. And only one team's interested in Duchesne. So, to Zingle, I'm not off Sheen him. I don't want to give up any picks. Maroon's probably not going to sign. Carl Haglin, I'll bring him in. Why not? Wait, who is, is this Jacob? Who is this? Oh, Johan. I thought that was Jacob Lars. The guy from uh, Anaheim. Nothing really too interesting. Look at right. Yeah, let's get Marner. <laughs> Richard Ponick, Kaspari Kapanen, ooh. That could be a pretty cool one. What is the compensation? Should we give up a second round pick for Kapanen? I think I might do that. Kind of hoping he will give him a five year 2.5. He's only, he's got high top six, so hopefully he could. But I think this is, we'll offer sheet, we'll definitely, we'll offer sheet him. Only a second round pick is not so bad. I'll do that. To bring in another right wing, probably play our top pair. And maybe we'll just bring in Nikita Sostakov. He could play, uh, like I said, I'm not so sure how our AHL affiliate is looking. And we'll bring in maybe Emerson Eden too for an AHL guy. Throw back to when the Rangers traded, uh, who was it? Carl Hagen for so let's see if Duchesne will come that would be pretty big a second round pick and Sam Gagne for all mark raffle and the third nah I'm not going to do that even though we're going to have to and also we offer sheet Kapanen I just forgot about that so it's going to be so a third and a fourth no I'm not taking on I'm not, why would I take on his contract for just giving up picks okay so, Kaspari Captain accepted. We gave him, what, five years, 2.5. Pretty cheap contract for an 81 overall, and he's oh, so soon to grow. Haglin accepted. Sashkov accepted. Eat him. Eat him. And I don't think... Oh, and Matt Duchesne. Matt Duchesne. I'm surprised he accepted that. So, I think Captain. I don't think Toronto's going to match us. Um, is there anyone else we can maybe bring in? We can still go after Myers. Should we give Myers a contract? He's asking for 4.6. I feel like, yeah, we won't really have much cap. We're going to have to clear some. I mean, we'll have 9 million. We'll still have at least, we'll have like 5 million. So we sign Kaspari Cap. You know what? No, we're not going to sign Myers. We're gonna leave it like that. So a couple pretty, I would say this this franchise started off pretty well. We got the number one pick. We took Dmitry Radulov, who is a playmaking center. Eight, oh, I didn't even check out the stats. Eighty nine speed. The shot could use some work. He's pretty good physic. He's got good physicality. And eighty eight Deacon. He's quick. We got Brett Burns in the draft. Could maybe, I mean, yeah, we could definitely ship him away. Maybe make it a little realistic. Uh, retain at least two million. We got Duchesne. pretty reasonable contract. He's gonna be our number one center. He's got ninety four speed. Shit. We have, a, of course, the good Devin, and then we have Kaspari Cap. So, a lot of interesting moves. I'm going to call an episode. I will sim the next season. I'm not gonna make any trades. We'll probably make some. I'll maybe sign more free agents to fill out the AHL team, but we'll probably make more trades at the beginning of the season to build up for the 2019 draft, which Jack Hughes won't be in it, so I'll definitely try to, um, we'll probably, I mean, I hope we're bad, but I mean, we just bought in a lot of good guys, so I'm hoping we get like a top 10 selection, and I'll try to get maybe, uh, try one of the new guys I created, like Boldy, Zagris, or one of them, or maybe even if we get a top pick again, I'll get Capo Caco. Because it would be fun to get him. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm excited for this. We had a lot of, a lot of good, a lot of success in this beginning part. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next.